Hey guys, welcome to my new movie review for the 1985 PG movie directed by Richard Donner, the incredibly brilliant, fun, adventure, fantasy movie, The Goonies. Wow. So I had not watched this movie in a very, very, very long time. A very, very long time. And when I re-watched it, I was just scrolling through Netflix and I thought to myself, oh, I'll, I'll watch The Goonies again. It's been such a long time since I've seen this movie. Man, I am so glad I did. Like, seriously. Now, I want to tell you about something about this movie that really came back to me in sort of a flood in my mind. I remember watching this movie and watching the character John Mayutskak, I think that's how you say his last name, sorry if I'm butchering that, who plays the character of Sloth. I remember seeing that as a kid and freaking out. I, like, I just, I'll never ever forget. I was just so scared. I mean, I really was. I was just like, what in the world is that? Like, that's... That is, that, that's one scary looking person. And not only, and when you first meet that character, he's actually sitting down. So you don't even, you don't even see the real him until he actually stands up. And man, that, he is a big dude. He's a ginormous man. Oh my gosh. So I want to tell you about the cast of this movie, guys, because the cast of this movie, not only do they really create an incredible adventure for for the audience to just this journey of adventure just beautiful adventure to take you on but the characters themselves today are just oh my gosh incredible so the cast besides the director Richard Donner the cast is we have Sean Austin as Mikey Josh Brolin who plays Thanos in Avengers is Brand I thought it was Brad, but it's actually Brand, B-R-A-N-D. That's a weird name. Anyway, we also have Jeff Cohan, and he plays Chuck. Also, Corey Feldman, and he plays a funny character named Mouth. And the really, really funny Jonathan Ken Kwan. Jonathan Ken Kwan, I think that's how you say his name. And he plays Data. <laughs> and the reason why he plays Data is you'll see why in the movie. If you haven't seen The Goonies, which... Why wouldn't you have seen The Goonies? Oh my gosh. Guys, this movie blow... Oh man, what an... Oh, wow. Just wow. What an adventure. Fun. Thrill ride of a movie. If you've seen any of my movie reviews, guys, you'll notice that something that I really appreciate in movies more than anything is character chemistry. I am really, really, really big on character chemistry. I personally believe that movies absolutely must have character chemistry. And the Goonies movie is brilliant. I would almost say perfect in character chemistry. And I really mean that. And these guys now are adults and they were kids they were little kids when they filmed this movie guys it, this movie is so so incredibly brilliantly executed on every level imaginable honestly guys the thing the biggest thing that i absolutely love about this movie is mikey's mind he just wants to he just wants to find an adventure. He would, wants to go exploring. He wants to get so creative and find treasure and find this this other world. And, you know, he's, he, his brain is like, you know, our parents have had their time. Now it's our time to live our adventure. And I tell you now, guys, it is absolutely incredible. I don't know why, I don't know why, but in, in the back of my mind as I was watching this movie, I thought to myself, I thought Steven Spielberg created this movie, but I was actually wrong. Steven Spielberg was actually one of the, the screenwriters of this movie, along with Christopher Columbus, right? Right? That makes so much sense. I know, I know you were thinking it, because so do I. <laughs> Guys, this, as, this movie is 
This movie is timeless. It, this movie really is timeless. Now, this movie, in my personal opinion, is a movie that could never be remade, honestly. with like It couldn't be remade because the cast that they used back then was so perfectly intertwined. It was just so incredibly done. And I tell you now what, guys, the character who plays Chuck, man, far out. What an incredibly brilliant actor. So, so funny. Now, I want to tell you something about, some, uh, about the house that actually is in this movie. Interestingly enough, the house that is in this movie actually got sold many years ago because the, the people, the real life people who actually live there in the house, they actually were sick and tired of people going up to the stone, that, uh, the rock or the stone or whatever it is that, Mikey, that Chuck stands on, and literally doing the shake, lifting his belly up and doing the shake because people were like, no, 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 we're over this. Too many people do it too often because people watch this movie and they're like, we're going to go there, we're going to find this house and we're going to do it. And tr true story, the actual owners who own the house, they sold up. They just went, nah, we're over it, we're sick of this, this is too much, this is getting too far. One of the beautiful things that I found out in the trivia about this movie is when Chuck, there's a scene in this movie where Chuck has to sit down and cry and explain a story. And he goes right back to the beginning of, I think, grade five, I think he says, or even earlier than that. And he starts crying. And the beautiful thing about that part, guys, is in the trivia, it actually says Jeff Conan, who plays Chuck in this movie, actually to really bring on those emotions, to really draw out that emotion. I thought this was so beautiful. He actually thought about his mother dying, and that's why he cried so convincingly. It was so beautiful, and I, I was really, really touched by the trivia of that. I was just like, wow, that is full on. Now, this is a really uh, sucky piece of trivia about this movie that I was like, when I, was, when I read the, this, I was like, wow, man, I couldn't even imagine how annoyed you'd be about that. Far out. So apparently, the literal map that they used for the movie got given to someone as a gift, right? And uh, someone was going through all the, this, the person who was going through all the, the piles of paper or whatever found the map and they thought it was just something stupid and it went in the bin. Yeah, yeah, it got completely thrown out. So the map, the authentic map that was used in this film is gone. That sucks so bad. Ah, oh, when I read that, I was like, ah, oh, what a kick in the guts, man. Imagine, imagine being like, like knowing that. You know what I mean? Like, what? Ah, oh, yeah, no. Nah, what? Oh, that's so sucky, guys. If you have not seen the Goonies, one of the things that blew my mind, and I thought this was really, really, really funny, is right at the end of the movie, there is a ginormous ship. A ginormous ship that is revealed, and they, that's where all the treasure is, and One-Eyed Willie, he's, he's on the ship, and you'll be like, what are you talking about? When you see the movie, if you haven't yet, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. When, when they finally see One-Eyed Willie's ship, uh, they wanted to see the authentic reaction from the cast, the kid's authentic reaction, and unfortunately, unfortunately, Fortunately, Josh Brolin was so taken back by the size, the scale of the ship that he swore. He said, oh, S-H-I-T. And so, unfortunately, they had to reshoot it. So, their authentic reaction wasn't captured because Josh dropped the swear word. Really, Josh? You couldn't just hold that? You couldn't just do it, really? Really? <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this movie review. If, have you seen The Goonies? Please comment down below. Tell me what your thoughts are of the, what The Goonies. Did you like The Goonies? Did you not like The Goonies? Well, tell me what your thoughts are. Please leave a like on this YouTube channel. I really do appreciate that. And uh, if you haven't, please subscribe already. Click the bell and you'll get notified every time I drop something. And until my next review, please take care of yourselves and one another. Thanks, guys. See you then. Bye.